done. I sold here and here, but I'm gonna leave this on until I try this whole thing on and then I'll cut. So that section is done. And then now I'm working on this section here, which I'm gonna go through one more time. And then I'm gonna leave the extra tail here of the chiffon until again, I try it on. And then the next section I'm gonna do is here and then the bottom of the skirt. But I am watching the tell all for 90 Day Fiance, happily ever after while I sew this. And this is actually the first time I've ever sewn on a dress form because I'm doing a dress. Um, I've been always just sewing it with it on my lap. All right, vlog, it is 1.20 in the morning. This is sewn on. I'm not gonna cut this until I try it on. This is sewn on. I'm not gonna cut this until I try it on. This whole section here, I sewed. And I ended up sewing this whole chiffon to this whole section of the skirt from here all the way to here. I sewed it. I don't know what it's gonna look like until I try it on. Um, but the last thing I wanna do this is so like new for me to sew on a dress form. I feel very professional now. I'm gonna sew this here. So as you see, I need to cinch this up and sew here. And then the same thing here, I'm gonna cinch and sew. And then I'm gonna try it on. And if it fits good, then I can cut all of these loose ends off. And then that's gonna be, um, that's it for tonight. And then tomorrow night, I will pick it up and I'm gonna just blend it out. I don't know the design yet until it happens. All right, vlog, take a look at that. That looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very impressed, I love that. I just don't know what it's gonna look like on. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I cinched here and here. I'm gonna try the dress on now and I wanna see what the back is gonna look like. I'm either gonna do the same thing in the center here or I'm just gonna fold and just sew right here. I don't know yet. So now it's time to see what this beautiful dress is going to look like on me. All right, vlog, take a look at this. Evie's already like fed up with me and we're gonna go to bed now. I pinned here because I wanna make sure that the slit is pinned down. So I'm going to sew here and that back portion of the skirt, I am gonna cinch up two more times in two different sections. I cut the material here, so I just need to tack it down a little bit more. And I did cut here. Um, but I still need to do the back of the bra and like, yeah, I really, really love the look. And you can see I have the chiffon skirt in the back. I cannot believe I put this together. I can't wait to bling it out. So I'm going to cinch here, cinch two more parts in the back of the skirt. And then I'm going to go to bed and I'll pick up the vlog um, either when I'm done. So you can see what it looks like, if not tomorrow. But I love this nude material so much. So I'm so glad that I was able to give it a new life. Again, this is the bottom of my old skirt. This was just extra material my grandma made for my costume and I never used it. But now I'm using it as part of my skirt and part of the dress. And then this is like one section of my old skirt, which actually was a mermaid skirt that went all the way down to the floor. So. I can't wait to give it new life. It is such a fun process for me. All right, vlog, I'm done teaching for the day. Abby was hungry. I'm sorry I took extra long to feed you your breakfast, but she likes her new food, of course, because it's something different. And here we go. Here is the silica gel. So I'm looking forward to preserving my blooms correctly. And this looks like the same texture as the original brand that would have took too long to arrive here so i'm just gonna mix it together because i just like don't want to have the hassle of trying to keep both brands separate they're just different color indicators so the first one i have is blue and it turns to pink and this one is orange and then i don't know what color it changes into maybe green 
orange to green but it's the same texture so let's get started all right so i have now my third and fourth monstera mold so that i can pour four molds at once so if i wanted the same color i can do it four times in a row with the same pour instead of just doing one which i started and i got a second one then i could do two but there's a lot of projects where i want to have four of the same color so i just ordered it it's fine and the ferns it like i don't really use it because it's super small there these are fondant molds so they're not really like i mean they're so like pouring into this was really hard i've done it but anyway i have the things that i need so let's get started t-shirt because it is cold let's check the temperature 70 and cloudy the sun's not gonna come out till 1 p.m. and it's gonna be 75. I want to demode <laughs> and then I'm gonna get to dealing with my silica gel. Ooh, so this is the new pigment that arrived yesterday and I added some neon green glitter that I got from Vegas. Look at how pretty that is. Very cool. Oh, look at this cute little cactus. A pink one. And I added some glitter in it. See? Hmm. It's cold, so the resin will be hard. When it's hot or warm, then the resin will be on the bendy side. I was very tempted to demold this one last night. Ooh. Pretty. So here's everything. Look at how pretty. And my beautiful tray. I'm very proud of yesterday's work. So let more work begin. I really like this green. It's so cute. So pretty. It's the next morning and thank goodness my silica gel arrived 9 in the morning. So I can take care of this. But I am going to speed up the process and microwave the blooms to help me. Because if I did just cover the blooms just like this, they're going to not lay flat because I don't have a lot of space. So, oh, this picked up moisture. What we're gonna do is open everything up so I can see what's going on. I have my ferns in here as well. I'm gonna transfer them out. Oh my gosh, is this real life? Like seriously, is this real life? It is the same texture. So that's good. I want to try to lay some flat. Okay, that guys was just one bag. One bag. Oh my gosh, it doesn't really do anything. The sun is out, honey. We'll use the new silica on this. Gosh, it's getting stressful here. They each need to lay flat. This for now. I'm probably going to do one of these two. Silica. Good for them. That's it for now. It's 12 noon. I am toasting my focaccia bread for lunch. Ebby's hanging out in the sun. And I'm just spending a little time working on my keychains, drilling holes, and putting the little screw 
hooks in it these all take time and you got to be very careful so i'm just doing little by little i'm giving myself a few minutes while my bread is toasting to do a couple my first time pouring into four of these molds i should have just bought four from the beginning because now i can make a lot in one pour and they're all the same color so now that i'm like been using this mold for a while and i see what i can do and want to do with the monstera leaf i finally have four i only have one of these opuntia molds and one of these moonstar molds but that's fine I just make a leftover art with it for whatever extra resin I have and I just have a bunch of different stuff but look at how gorgeous this is just taking a moment to make these keychains because they take a while and I do want to edit and sew tonight so I'm finally just going in with the eye hooks and I have my E6000 hey, here vlog. I'm about halfway through the eye hooks are all done on this side and I'm working on this and slow and steady wins the race but I just absolutely love my work it is so gorgeous and I can't wait to set them up on the keychain yay I did it it is 5 30 I'm gonna feed Abby dinner poor thing I usually feed her around five o'clock or so so it's still a decent time but all of these are done so I'm so excited I think the next batch I'm gonna do are pink. So Evie's eating her food and I'm done setting up those keychains with the eye hooks. So I'm gonna do a quick workout and then shower, edit a video, and then so enjoy your dinner, baby. Okay, good girl. It is 9 45 p.m. and I pretty much been working on my resin art, taking pictures, posting pictures on my new Instagram since probably around six o'clock so like the last four hours i really needed to do that because i've never posted any of my like art on the internet and i needed to put stuff up on my new instagram so that took a while so i'm gonna jump in the car now to go to tanya she's not home but her family's expecting me to come by to pick up the blooms that open up tonight she said there's about 10 do you guys believe that that is so crazy i can't even think of it there was 10 on the first night 17 on the second night and then tonight she said there's like 10 i was trying to see if i could uh, preserve one today but even putting it in their microwave there's too much moisture in the center of the bloom that it didn't want to dry in six minutes in the microwave so it just needs to take its course like over several days so i will be patient and i will wait all right we are in the car it feels so weird to leave the house at night and the third night in a row i'm gonna get the blooms from tanya's house she's not home though but her family's expecting me but i don't think i left the house today i was going to but then i ended up not i got caught up with the channel and doing my resin art it's just that i'm not gonna be home for too long and there's a lot of art i need to make for my upcoming events that i'm trying to do and um I haven't been pouring art like the way how I am because I didn't think I was gonna be doing what I'm doing now. Shout out to Tanya, I guess her kids said that she's gone for the weekend, so I might have to stop by there tomorrow night just to see if there's anything because I see one that's about to open up. But I got four, she said there was 10, but I got four and the other ones are just too high to reach. But I seen like one or two that might open up tomorrow. Here is Tanya's four blooms. I will stop by tomorrow night. 
her daughter said that she's out of town for the weekend but she told me that I could come by tonight and pick them myself so thank you Tanya that was very sweet of you look at how gorgeous so time to add them to the rest and let's see what the status is of the others that's been sitting in silica okay here we go I'm gonna try to just have it in here for now until I see the status tomorrow of the other blooms I don't want to open up the container and I know this is very small there's one okay this is getting pretty serious I am now using all of my containers that I had for silica gel projects not including my three big hat containers from the last two nights these are all container store organizers these were for my shoes originally for my Jordans who knew when I bought them I bought them for my Jordans and fast forward I'm using them to preserve blooms I'm just gonna do this for now for now and I'm gonna check on the other blooms you see the orange color that is the new silica gel I just put on the two blooms from last night and the rest um, under it is my old silica gel from the previous brand and the first night of blooms there's 10 under there plus the two from last night I want to share with you what this looks like so as you see there's no orange so that means it sucked up all of the moisture because now it's green and then take a look at this so these are from last night I'm gonna use the rest of my silica gel to cover them as much as I can and then just wish them luck this is the best I can do for these two containers I'm gonna close them up and I'll check on them like in another day or so 10 37 p.m. I have it in me I want to sew or at least tack on maybe like the fringe of where I want to sew on that costume right here it's been a long day like I look crazy but I got a lot done a lot of things came in today in the mail my silica gel my extra molds my tablecloths like I feel super productive I post over 10 pieces on my Instagram for my resin art so that's good I do want to post a video of me pouring resin on my resin account and then edit for the vlog channel and that's it I have to get up again at 7 in the morning but I woke up with a crazy headache I woke up with a crazy headache this morning so I don't know if it's the long nights of me staying up just kind of caught up to me but I had to take some ibuprofen for that but I'm probably going to have a couple of dates and water while I edit All right, so here's everything that I made everything turned out so pretty but I'm gonna use these for magnets or coasters and then the rest are gonna be ornaments and bookmarks so pretty all right i'm in the middle of cleaning my molds i totally forgot i wanted to use these new monsteras i just poured into coasters i've never done this style before in coasters so i want to do that which is basically i'm going to pour clear and then tomorrow when i wake up then i'll pour the color background so i just want to do this really quickly and then i'm going to edit So tomorrow morning, I'm going to pour a colored background behind it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how my first Monster coasters turn out. Alright, I'm done teaching my morning client. I have one more client to teach in three and a half hours. But look at this whole operation of blooms. Like, this is crazy, right? So I'm warming up some water right now, but Ebby thinks I owe her something. I guess I could give you, give you a carrot. Sit down, honey. Sit. Okay. So I'm going to finish my coasters here. I don't have much resin left, and my other resin bottles is not arriving until Wednesday. Today's Sunday. So all my other projects have to be put on hold, but I want to try to finish this. I think I have enough to make these coasters, and I'm going to make a pink background. So I'm going to clean my sticks in my mold 
while my water is boiling and then I'm gonna figure out what pink shade. I kept rubbing my left eye and now it's like not happy. I might have to wear my glasses to like give my eyes a break. Vlog. I fixed this piece to the best I could. I did one pour over and I'm just gonna like let it be because I keep touching it and I just need to like finish that and then I'm going to do a third layer when I get more resin and it's going to be like a silver glitter background so it's going to be clear pink and then glitter background it's going to look so cute as coasters declare our faith on the count of three ready one two God is who he says he is. God can do what he says he can do. I am who God says I am. I can do all things through Christ. And God's word is alive and active in me. Amen. In this church, a workout. And now I'm having my post-workout shake. Ebby's relaxing outside. It is such a gorgeous day. It's like perfect. So there's a lot to be done when there's perfect weather. Alright, somebody took a shower. So now you can have your bone. Okay, enjoy. Mommy's gonna cook dinner. Butternut squash ravioli from TJ's. Sauteed mushroom in garlic. And I'm just going to toss this in my pesto vegan sauce. Alright, so here is my dinner. Butternut squash ravioli with vegan pesto and sauteed mushroom in garlic. It is so late. It is 2.20 a.m. And I've kind of been like sleeping around this time. Like 2, 3 in the morning since I've been back every night. Because I'm trying to get a lot of work done with my resin art. And of course having to edit a video at night. And getting stuff done during the day. But I set up all of my keychains that I've made so far for the letters. So I spent like a good hour or so doing that tonight and an hour or so earlier today. Setting up the keychains does take time. So that took like an hour today and an hour tonight to set those up. I did some of my magnets, but Evie is in bed. I'm going to jump in bed, but let me show you what I was working on. And then I will pick up the vlog in a couple of hours when I get it. There needs to be like a better system because... The more work I do, it's hard for me to keep things organized. Like all of my bookmarks are here and my Monstera bookmarks here. My keychains that are all set up are here. And then I was able to put these magnets together today or tonight and it looks really good. I have like bigger pieces in here but literally like I need a better system on storing my art. And I will figure that out soon. I'm going to have to get like small nice containers. And they can just be all housed in here. But I do need to add tassels and charms. So this is just like a slow work in progress. And I would like to set up these stars as well. So and that's going to wrap up my project for tonight. I didn't get to sew unfortunately. Um, but I plan on sewing tomorrow. But it's super cute. So this is what I would have to do as an option if somebody wanted a charm and a tassel or they could just have it just plain and it'll cut the cost down but anyway i was busy doing this and it's so exciting to see my art grow can you babysit perfect thank you jesus for my food bless me make me strong amen it is 9 30 and i woke up with another headache i'm gonna pull myself together i do teach a client this evening but I still can get a lot done. Happy Monday, Abby. Well, we made it down to the beach. I have my hip scarf and my cane. I'm gonna try to find some place to dance in the parking lot. The weather's perfect. Abby gets a walk. Feel really good. Happy to be out, babe. Gloomy day. Hey, there's my beach squirrel friend. I think I'm gonna put the camera here and get a couple shots of me dancing in this parking lot <laughs> let's see Yeah, I
dancing out here for like 45 minutes. Evie's in the shade hanging out waiting for me. She's a good girl. It is so so hot. I need to come earlier if I want to dance out here in the parking lot by the beach. So give this video a thumbs up. Hey, baby. Okay, we are back home. We're back home. Evie has a carrot for being mommy's good girl. I'm gonna make a protein shake and then water the collection and fill the fountain. Okay vlog. I have my post-workout shake. Just parked uh, across of Earth. Gonna run in and get our bobas and then head to Diana's. Hey, got the drinks. Time to head to Diana's. It is 75 and sunny today. It's a perfect day. Hi, our drinks and waiting for baby and Diana to come out and then go for our walk. So we're back in the car. We walked for about an hour, but baby Kara was getting a little fussy, but we got our walk in and it, it's perfect weather. So there's some traffic happening here. I have about half an hour at home before I teach my client of the day. There must be lots of traffic because it's making me pass MDR and go onto the freeway. So LA seems to be back to lots of traffic. COVID six months in All right vlog it's almost 7 p.m. and I watered the whole collection just finished teaching my client everybody seems to be doing good I am filling up the fountain because that was my main concern it was empty today um, but I'm gonna turn off the hose and then put my hose away and then make some dinner. All right, resin arrived. I can finish all of my projects and make more stuff. I'm super excited about this. Hey, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna use up the rest of this and then I'm gonna open these bottles. But I'm probably gonna order me another set because they take about five days or so to arrive. And these bottles don't last very long. They're very small. They last me for like under a week with all of the projects I'm doing. But now I want to finish these coasters. I'm so excited. All right, it is a quarter to 8 p.m. I didn't eat dinner yet because my bottles arrived. But I spent some time here cleaning out some of my sticks and cups. So I'm going to pour the final layer, which I'm really excited about to see how these coasters come out. If I have any leftover, I will fill one of these molds. bone break for Ebby. I'm in the middle of pouring resin. It is 8 o'clock. I didn't eat dinner yet. All I had was a protein shake today and boba. I definitely need to eat something substantial but I'm so happy my resin came in so I'm trying to get a lot of work done. I'm having a TJ ramen because now it's 9 o'clock. I'm working on all of these projects here because I finally got my new bottles in and I'm so determined to pour them so they can cure overnight and I can demold them in the morning. Hence why I'm having a ramen right now. Probably gonna make me another one because I'm super hungry. So um, I think I'm gonna pour maybe one or two more cups of resin and then I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna go back to editing and then I keep for like my poor costume i need to work on it so cheers to uh tj ramen for saving me
of my work from today. I did a lot. Time to shower, eat my second ramen, and get to editing and sewing. Okay vlog, it is 12.30 in the morning. My day was very full. I did a lot of resin work. I also had edit two videos for the main channel. I just finished the second one. And on top of that, I taught a client. I got to see my bestie Diana. And now I'm going to focus on this costume. What I wanna do is I wanna add rhinestones on this cup. So I think I'm gonna use this. And then once that is done, then I'm gonna go in on this side here and I'm gonna cover the whole thing with beads and rhinestones but because of the way how this is I don't know I might bring it off of the dress form to work on the bra and then when it's time to work on the skirt I'll put it back on the dress form because uh, if not I have to stand up and I have to do the bra and I don't want to stand I want to sit down <coughs> no you had too many treats today <coughs> She, every time I vlog, she tries to get my attention to owe her something. Hi, oh my goodness, you guys. Take a look at this. It is looking so gorgeous. I love that. I love the texture. I love everything about it. I wish I had more of these draped rhinestones so I could do the same thing for the skirt. I would probably do like three or four. I would have to go to downtown LA to the crystal shop to see if it's in stock or not because I got this a while back. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to bling out this whole cup with beads and rhinestones. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. All right. So it's going to be a mixture of beads and rhinestones. So it's going to take a while for me to cover the whole bra, but I'm just going to slowly make my way from one side to the other. It's a little after 3 in the morning. I know. It's been crazy. Ever since I've been back from Vegas, arriving back at 3, I've been sleeping till like 1, 2, or 3 in the morning. But this is what the progress of the costume looks like. I am in love with it. I was able to do 18 beads and rhinestones and they're all individually sewn by hand and I go at least two times through each hole with the thread. So this took me a while to get these 18 rhinestones and beads on and I'm doing it with a very small needle versus like the needle that I use, a regular size needle for uh, material. I'm gonna go to bed and whatever time I wake up is whatever time I wake up and then I'll go to the beach and work out with Ebby. But I am loving the progress. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to like finish up this whole cup. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. Um, but every night, you know, if I can sew a few, I'll slowly get there. But I'm just gonna work my way because if I don't finish it, I still wanna try to use it when I go back to Las Vegas for work next week and at least try to dance in it and then every time I have a moment I'll just keep adding it but it's it's gorgeous I love nude a lot and the AB crystals is so pretty so good night from Santa Monica I'll pick up the vlog in a couple of hours we are back there's the costume and I'm looking at it and I'm not mad like I really am not mad with the progress that I did in the middle of the night another day off from teaching or dancing but it is approaching a very busy month in the month of october i'm rarely here in santa monica so i'm trying to get a lot done i woke up with a slight little headache but i think it might be the epoxy resin i'm gonna drink a few sips of the pre workout to help me first thing i want to talk about is this fail I demoted it first thing this morning. Didn't want to vlog it because I just rolled out of bed. But as you can see, the bloom was not dry. It burnt up like the first time I ever did my pink epiphyllums and I did three at once for the first time ever. Such an amateur move to do. But this is, I believe, eight ounces, I think, of resin I poured. 
and that's a lot of resin. Apparently, even with me having it sit under silica gel for three days and microwaving it for three minute increments times two, so that's six minutes in the microwave, it was not ready, as you can see. I burnt in the resin. So my goal is, which is gonna be a very long task today, is get all of the blooms out of the silica gel, put the silica gel in my little Pyrex and put it in the oven one batch at a time and reactivate it and then recover my blooms because the blooms are so big that it sucked all the moisture out it possibly could the silica gel and the bloom is still moist so it won't be able to do any more work unless i recharge it so with that being said i'm gonna have to do five bag worth of silica gel in my little oven that can take me easily i don't know four hours to do like this is gonna be a very long time. trial and error. This is gonna go in my fails pile and I learned that a bloom that big, if the silica gel needs recharging, I should recharge it. And I thought it was dry by me microwaving it like twice for three minutes, but it really needs to be like paper flaky dry and not soft dry. Like it needs to be crispy, crispy dry. So anyway, lesson of last night's pour i'm really excited to see this Ooh, this came out super nice look at my coasters take a look at that i did clear with the monstera leaf so that it's floating and not getting eaten up by color i did pink as the background and i did this glitter for the back like how cute is that that's actually adorable these turned out so great so I'm having fun being creative with the Monstera mold. Since I am a crazy plant lady, I like to have fun with my resin art in a plant theme. So take a look at that. Like perfect, right? I love it. And the, all of the back part is glitter. So this might be my signature look for coasters. It's so cute. Like, oh my gosh, I need to redo this whole look again. Take a look at that. Wouldn't you love this as a coaster? I love this pigment color. It's gorgeous. Take a look at this. Another perfect little Opuntia. I really like this pigment, so I did it in in the monstera molds all four of them and i did it in the opuntia and then my large monstera i'm trying to think what other ways i could do for this just watching the wendy show and the first batch of blooms there was so much moisture i don't know what happened but i do have to say that my original brand did not do its job and i don't know if it's because it wasn't super super charged up but all these blooms are starting to rot there's three that i might be able to save but as you can see this is the first brand and this is the second brand so i'm in the process of putting this in the oven batch by batch to recharge it but if you see here look at how the way how this dried it's like dried like paper so i'm gonna try to put one of them in like it's ready look at how like dried it is it's so paper dried it's probably gonna hold shape really nice like I don't think it's gonna burn so I really like the second brand but unfortunately there's about eight blooms or so that just as you can see how the silica gel is just stuck onto the blooms and if you look really good it's starting to rot I'm gonna have to dump all of this and this is a lot of silica gel on here this is so unfortunate I haven't gone through the second batch here but these are looking really good i'm gonna try to salvage these 
they're kind of looking iffy but these i'm definitely gonna have to throw away here is the other batch so i'm slowly going to kind of move them around because they do need to be dried open flat so i'm going to take them all out of the silica gel i know honey i know babe and i'm going to reposition them to make sure that they are laying flat under the silica gel everything that is still needing to be dried is in here with the second brand of silica gel so that's that i'm gonna leave this shut so let's give this one a whirl this one looks pretty dry so i'm excited to try again round two with this beautiful cactus bloom success here it is this one was fully dry what a major difference so it's definitely the brand and yeah my first brand just was probably not fully charged and maybe the crack in the container i'm not too sure but the other blooms from the second night are i think all in pretty good condition so I'm just gonna blow through a little bit more because I always see air bubbles even after when I'm done going through with my heat gun and I am really impressed. And this mold is like the perfect size too. I pulled myself together to film Thursday's check-in video which is my big announcement with my new little business that I am launching. I'm really excited. Sit here and talk about a few new things that I've created and a fun very fun up and i'm gonna be talking about a very fun update in the collection so that's kind of where i'm at right now it's a little after five ebby did not eat today i don't know what's wrong with her she's really sad um so i'm definitely gonna take her for a walk after this and then come back and make me something to eat for dinner and then pour more resin art so give this daily vlog a thumbs up it's very busy here are you helping mommy i know it's crazy right now do you want to go for a walk let's go take a break Here, I just made these first layer of the coasters. I made my second layer for my big epiphyllum. And then I am going to pour another set of monsteras. If I have any leftover resin, I want to pour into the cactus mold since I've never tried it before. And then I'm going to take a shower. It is currently 10 23 p.m. and I still need to edit for the main channel. Okay, everything's looking crazy. I did some letters, I did, of course, monstera try my new mold here and yeah a bunch of different things so time to take a shower it is 11 p.m <music> 